This is what you get inside the smart bird feeder. This is how you put the bird feeder together. Put the main camera here, and this is the actual base where the birds would actually land. First of all, we're gonna take the roof and actually just slide it and attach it onto the top here. You just wanna take that and actually hook it underneath the actual lip right here of the bird feeder itself. You can see that little lip right there. You're gonna attach that onto the roof. You have a little snap here, and then you're gonna push down on the lid, and it will secure the actual roof. Then we're gonna take our actual bird feeding tray and put it down here at the bottom. And this is where the birds are actually gonna land. I found, and right here there's a screw underneath. From this bag, you're gonna have these hand tightening screws. So you're gonna take one out, turn to the right, and actually just secure that main frame where the birds can land on there. Next, I'm gonna show you how to insert an SD card. Your camera will be probably facing up, so you're gonna push it down, and you can take off this cling film, protecting the actual camera itself, if you would like, as well. At the top here, this is where you're gonna get your, into your SD card. It does not come with one, so you have to push up on this, and it will actually just come right up. And that is how you access the, S, the micro SD card in there. And you're gonna to have to put one in there so you actually can store the pictures that you're capturing of these birds. You face it the front of it towards yourself and you push down. And you can put this on top and secure it. When it comes to installing the camera on an actual tree, it comes with a nice mount. As you can see, I'm screwing it in here with a nice base plate. You can either have the option to screw it into a tree, or if you don't want to damage a tree, it comes with a nice strap, which I'll show you here how to attach it on the back of it, just by stringing it through and attaching it around a tree of a smaller size. And it's very easy to adjust the size of it and move the birdhouse wherever you want. I thought the quality of it was absolutely fantastic with the 1080p camera on it and 160 degree shooting range. I thought it was very versatile. It comes with an app as well, which is very easy to live see what the camera is seeing. And also you can pull all the footage from it. So you can see what the motion camera has sensed so far. And you can also live pull the footage right off on your phone. The lid, like I showed you how to put on, also comes up. and has a clear bin here where you can put lots of feed in it so it'll last a long time and slowly give the birds food as it's needed, which is very helpful as well, I thought. I got a large variety of birds on the camera and started having birds come to the camera within two days, which is really nice. I definitely recommend how easy it was to set up. It also comes with a solar panel you can plug in the back if you want it to completely be independent on its own power, or you can charge it in the back or plug it in if you want to have it somewhere near an outlet. So I highly recommend it for how easy it was to set up. Definitely check it out.